show for Wednesday. Um, May 1st it is. Happy May 1st, 2019. 42 degrees, 42 wet and damp and moist and windy degrees at 6.50 a.m. There goes my Mikey. God is singing to us in those chimes. And there's weird things going on with this video phone. It blinks on and off. But we're here for another day. And look at there's Maxie and there's Mikey. There's my loves. And we are gonna sit down in our corner and enjoy this morning with our loves. And we'll fill you in on more. Well, we are back after certain tough technical difficulties and we're here with Elsie and Samuel and our friend, the French Press. Got a couple mallards out there feeding, some city chickens. It's still rainy and windy. And, oh boy, look at my lady. She's been doing this lately. She's been very affectionate lately and it makes me wonder. Is there something wrong with you, honey? Not that I mind it. She's been coming and sitting on my lap at night when we're watching videos or reading. And, uh, you know, that's just out of character for her. Not Danny, though. Hey, Danny. Where's Mikey and Max? So, we had our physical yesterday. And today, which is a good day to do it, we're going for x-rays of our neck. Um, they took blood, didn't get the results back from that yet. Um, scheduled for a stress test. Haven't heard when that will be yet. But things are rolling along, you know. And I knew I was pretty close to 300 pounds when they weighed me. I weighed 181, so I'm almost 300 pounds. Man, I got a big tank on me I can't get rid of. We did get some bread baked yesterday. We made hummus. Had a nice bike ride in. Saw, saw our old friend DeLoss. Found out he's no longer working at Meyer. He said... Mid Michigan Health. Uh, oh, I can't think of the name of the place. Um, anyway, I think they do something with breathing stuff. So we had a great chat when I was coming back from Save a Lot after my ride. And uh, we're about ready to push the plunger down on that coffee for our first cup. I'm glad I rode my bike yesterday because I don't think I want to go out in this stuff today. Look at that chime up there. That's how windy it is, getting blown back and forth into the field of view here. Yeah, what a day, hey, what a day. Happy May. May Day, May Day. All right. Well, we are back, and I was watching out there, and despite the grimness and the cold, you can see the buds really starting to open up on that uh, crimson sunset maple over there. And even on some of the other ones, you're really starting to notice things happening. Spring March is on up in this bucolic dwarf. Even though the weather's not fit for humans, spring still marches on. It doesn't seem to affect the plants and the grasses and the, the critters that come. The birds are coming, you know. Life moves on. Uh, and eventually we will get one or two days of summer. <laughs> and they'll be beautiful days when we do get them, but they are few and far between. Uh, and we're also coming up on the two-year anniversary of anniversary of doing the Mike Show, flaws and warts and all. There's another one. Uh, I think our first broadcast was May seventeenth, two thousand and seventeen. Audie uh, had just gotten over kidney failure. She was making her way back to the land of the living, and she's gone now. We lost her almost a year ago now, but that's when we started doing the Mike Show and chronicling our uh, adventures with all our loves and having coffee and wake up and other things that happened throughout the day of our life, the days of our lives, as it were. And in the time we started doing this, we lost... Joseph and Sage and Audie. It's been a struggle at times, but life is. But life's 
good but not fair at all. And the rain is still coming down. And that was a Lou Reed song. And we are going to hopefully have a pretty good day today. We started out, you know, knowing we are powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today. It's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. The only reality is God. And the only thing we've got to do is die. So how are we going to choose to live this day? And I hope I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. The mallards are still out there. Joined by a blackbird. What do we got? Three city chickens out there. Rain still falling down. Wind still blowing. I feel pretty good though, you know, and I feel pretty rested. What's up, Elsa? What did you see? She got up. Something spooked her. What did you see down there, huh? What are you looking at? What's over there, honey? All right. Elsie spooked about something, or she saw something. Maybe it was a spider. Hey, baby, did you see a spider? Tammy's still sitting here comfy. I love you, Sam. Love you, else. Love you, Max. Love you, Michael. All right. Another coffee break. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Mallard have left us. And Elsie is still staring in that spot. There is a spider there. And I don't know if you can see it. The light's probably bad. It's just about underneath the handle of the, the carafe, the French press. She's probably going to bop at one. I'm going to pour another cup of coffee. And look at that. Is that not excitement? I don't think most people could handle living the life I live. I really don't. There's just so much going on. So little that I find so little going on, but so much that I find exciting. Oh, did she eat them? Anyway, I had a crazy dream last night, and parts of it were really good. It was out at my brother John's house at Long Lake, but it wasn't really John's house, and one of them kind of dreams. And oh, That spider's meeting his demise. And... My dad was in the dream and all the neighbors were having a party and there were fireworks and all that, but then there just became this sadness about it. And uh, it was like his place was sold and that was the end of it, you know. And this pair of pants that I had was ruined by the neighbors. They ground them up somehow. It was really bizarre. But there was an element of sadness at the end of the dream because we didn't have John's place to go to anymore. Look who's back with us. It's Melcy. It's Melcy. She's kind of tricky to get in that camera. Where are you going, honey? You're all right. Come here. She don't like that thing. She don't like that camera, do you, Alice? Come here. Come on, cuddle. And it's still a misty, moisty morning, and I'm sitting here with my Tammy. And it's Samuel. He's nice and comfy and cuddled and purring. Come on, Melcy. Mikey's over on Audie's bed, and I think Maxie's probably upstairs. I don't know. Still got some city chickens out there. And is that a duck? I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. That is Mrs. Mallard out there, and some blackbirds, and there might be a couple John birds out there, too. Who knows? All kinds of excitement happening over here in Mike's world, as it were. The Mike Show. We all got our own show, you know, like Shakespeare said, life is a stage and we are players and actors upon it. And, uh, you know, create your own magic, create your own music, create your own song and dance, you know. Don't get stuck in the grind. Be yourself, you know. How many of us truly are? How many of us think we are and uh, actually aren't, you know? How many of us are actually being who we really are or just have this perception of ourselves and our, deal, our idealistic version of ourselves but don't really see through clear to the whole thing, the whole package, inside and out, warts and all, you know, and try to be who we were put here to be. I know I've failed a lot more than I succeeded, but I keep on trying. What can I say? 
Well, we're back for our final segment on today's uh, coffee and wake up time. And I'm still sitting here with Sammy, who is very much snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing feeding out there right now. We finished our readings. We're just about done with our morning coffee. And that's about all we got. Mikey's still over in the living room sleeping. I think Maxie's upstairs. The wind's still blowing, the rain's still falling. It's just, I'm finding this beautiful though, for whatever reason, you know. Uh, I just find it beautiful. I think I can handle this. I'm feeling pretty good today. Mr. Robin's over there, looking for worms. Some city chickens on the wire. So, that is all we have for this morning. Peace and blessings and have a great day.